this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, what we're going to do in this video is do a little bit of prep work for another video that we're going to do, which is sort of related to ASMR mathematics, um, personal finance and investing. And we need a graph to be able to analyze some data. So what we're going to do in this video is create a graph on the wall here behind us. That way, in the next video that we do, we can actually put our points on the graph and analyze the data and talk about what the data represents when it comes to um, personal finance and investing and stuff like this, right? And uh, just so you know, the technique that we're going to use to be able to create this grid, because we want this grid to be square, that way the data is not distorted or anything, right? We want it to be, you know, the axes to be perpendicular to each other. We're gonna use the same technique that we used when we created the grid to do the 10 by 10 math puzzle, right? We, you know, back in, I guess, three years ago or something like this, or four years ago, I can't remember how many years ago, um, we created a grid on the wall and we generated the 10 by 10 multiplication table, which is something very important that everyone needs to know, right? This, that's the first thing when it comes to learning mathematics. You gotta learn your 10 by 10 multiplication table because it makes life easier for you, right? And since we had the table up, what we ended up doing is play the 10 by 10 math puzzle pattern recognition game, right? So to set up the grid, what we ended up doing, we used the Pythagorean special right triangles. I forget what the terminology is for it, but basically we used the Pythagorean theorem to generate a square grid. And that's something we also did during the live streams as well. Um, I guess last year or so, what we ended up doing, we generated a table again and we had like two or three or four or five live streams of uh, solving the puzzle game, right? And that was a lot of fun. And I believe we got to, we got to 99. I think we might have also got to 100. I'm not 100% sure, but we will definitely be doing that again, okay? But for now, what we're gonna do is create a table. Uh, not a table, a grid and graph, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a graph so we can use it to analyze some data. And what I've done is uh, we got us uh, painter's tape again, right? And I got two different sizes. We're gonna use the thicker size to set up the axes of the grid, right? The outside of the grid, of the, of the graph, right? And then we're gonna use the thinner one to go across because we sort of want a grid inside the graph so we can read off the data accurately well enough right and what we're going to do is as before we're going to use our um, pythagorean theorem to do this okay and i sort of kept the strings uh, we created uh, when we when we did the live stream when we put up our grid, right? So we're gonna use one of these strings to give us our Y axis first, okay? And we are definitely gonna measure it. Uh, but what I'm gonna do, because we're gonna, you know, we've already gone through the process of how you set up the grid Pythagorean theorem, uh, using the Pythagorean theorem on a flat ground, that's the technique we use. What we'll do for this one, because we're, we got gravity working with us, right? I'm gonna use gravity to make sure we're vertical on this grid, right? And to do that, all you need to do is basically, you know, anchor your string somewhere and have some kind of weight hanging on it. That way gravity just makes it go down straight, straight up, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use a set of keys as my weight, right? And all I'm gonna do is just tie this in there. Oop. And we don't need it to be you got to make sure it's not touching the ground, right? So I'm just doing this. <laughs> so I'm going to, we need it to be about, you know, it's going to fill the screen, right? So we need to be there and I'm going to give it a little bit of extra length. And I'm just going to tie it up. Okay, so we have the weight weighing down on the string and we'll make sure that our Y axis is vertical, right? Hopefully I didn't say horizontal before <laughs> vertical because we want it to be vertical. And what I'm gonna do is, I got little tacks here. I'm 
just gonna put this in. I already have a little little knot on this thing, right? So we're just gonna put this guy in. Come in. And this is, I'm not sure if you can see this, I got little pencil marks on the wall here from the previous grid we, uh, we set up when we did the puzzle, okay? And I think some of these might be permanent. They might've gone through the painter's tape because I put them on the painter's tape. <laughs> so let's do this. We're gonna put this. This should give us enough room. So if we put the axes there, you know what? Let me move it over a little bit more because I think, whoop, come back here, you. So we're just gonna put a little bit over more, okay? And just put that there. Now for the Pythagorean triangles, I'm gonna go down 60 centimeters this way and 80 centimeters this way okay so that should be a three four five triangle so diagonally i'll have to go one meter and that'll guarantee that we're gonna have a square grid right so let's do this we're gonna bring where's a thick one here's a thick one right we're gonna use a thick one as the axis so i'm gonna put this up here we'll put the tape in and then do the measurements afterwards. I'm gonna let an exact one knife here. We'll cut off the extras, right? That way we got the grid and we can make sure that the grid, um, not the grid, the graph will be in the screen that you're seeing, right? That you're watching right now. Right. So let's lay this here let's take it all the way up and of course I could just use the weight on the tape that's just hanging straight as well right but because I'm gonna move it I want to make sure that this isn't gonna be stop the motion on this thing so that looks pretty good okay Let's cut this. Now what we're gonna do is we gotta go 80 centimeters this way and 80 centimeters, where's my other, oh, there it is. Here's our, this guy, right? So 60 centimeters we're gonna put on here, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go 80 centimeters to make sure we're gonna be pretty much within reason of this thing is that good yeah that's pretty good and then from here so this guy so 60 centimeters let's make sure we got the screen so that's 60 that would go here so is that legit yeah that's legit okay cool so we're gonna go okay cool so we already have if you see this let me show you this on the tape I already had little felt marks put on there, oh, not on the tape, on the string from our previous session, right? Every 10 centimeters. So this is perfect. It's gonna be right there. We're gonna go across, right? So let me do this. Do we have another loop tied on here? Oh, we do have another loop tied on here. Sweet, okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm using the little tacks right now. I got the big tacks here as well. I <laughs> like these guys, right? I'm using the little guys right now. We got the big guys as well. We might use the big guys after we set up the graph. We'll put the big guys on there too and the little guys to see which one comes out better. So that way when we do the graph tomorrow, um, we'll have a good presentation. We're not experimenting tomorrow, right? So let me put this guy here. That guy is gonna go right here okay and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go this way now I can take this off right I just put one loop around it I just pull this off and it's done right? easy peasy so what we want to do because this is the tape measure I was using before I know 
the marks are 10 centimeters so i'm going to go eight this way and one meter that way and that should do it for us right so let's come over we'll use a tack we'll put a tack on there okay just to mark it first so let's see are we still on the map let's bring this up 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 okay and where are we 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 1 so that should be square hopefully does that look square maybe it's tilting up a little bit i guess eh because because let's see if I put it there, let's check it out. Does that look horizontal? Not really. This looks horizontal here. Oh, did I miss a mark? Oh, check that out. Oh, hold on. We want to go from, is this my bad? Where are we at? We want to be a 60, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Ah, that's why. I didn't start off off here. I was going to measure it from here my bad so the angle that we could see corrected my mistake right so we're going to put the marker here the little thing right so let's see 10 20 30 40 50 60. we want to be here right so let me take this off and put that guy here almost made a mistake right it's always good to check and that's the beauty of the system as i mentioned previously in the previous videos we did almost every geophysicist uses this technique to set up a grid and i use this technique to set up a grid like for 10 years for a decade and as soon as you get to a place where you're checking oops let me rotate this way checking your grid and something seems to be off you go back and remeasure things right because you want to get a good start right off the bat okay so let's check it out 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and 80 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 90 whoops where are we at this is the one so should be there yeah that should be it let's check it out 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 10. here we go so this guy says it should go right here let's put it in so we got our tick mark we do a double check after we put the tack in there and that's it so i'm not going to take these guys off yet i'm going to set up the tape first and then we'll make sure that it's all set up properly let's see so we're going from here uh, what should we do this there's the tick let's take it extra a little bit and then we'll put the markers on and i'm going to come a little bit extra should i come a little bit extra i'm just going to come a little bit extra just in case we want little markers on there Here, let's take the string put it on this side and let's take this and put it over top okay that looks pretty good okay we don't need this guy no more oh actually we do need it my bad oh no 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 we don't because the measurements are going to be a little bit different to put the data in uh hold on let me put these guys away to make sure that the data that we're going to graph right now they have the same sort of tick marks going across we're not gonna divide this up every 10 centimeters or so. We're gonna divide it up differently because I, wanted, I wanted it to fit here and I'm gonna base it on 
you know, the two graphs that we have here. So they have the same tick marks, um, same intervals, even though the uh, the numbers the on the bottom is going to be time. The time is going to be different between each tick. The interval between the ticks is going to be the same. And this is going to be dollars, right? Money, U.S. dollars. Then uh, U.S. versus Canadian dollars and stuff like this. And the tick marks are going to be the same length, even though the what they represent is going to be different, right? Hopefully that came out okay. <laughs> A little random. So let's put that on there. So we're gonna go from here. Let's bring the exacto knife. I'm gonna cut it from there. And we're gonna take it down. Take this down for now. Okay. So that's the top of our graph. And we're gonna go across. Okay. That's the top of our graph. And we're going to put another horizontal here as well. So might as well do that or another vertical line there as well because I want the grid to be on both sides. I'm going to put a different scale on this side and a different scale on the other side. Okay. So let's do this. Actually, let's kill this as well. Uh, should we go a little bit more? Actually, we'll put this up and then we'll do the same thing and then clean up the graph afterwards. Okay. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to line it up, just use gravity on the tape, okay, just take this off, and I want this to be on here, Oop, come on. Okay. that should be vertical, yeah, that looks pretty good, so we need that to be 60 centimeters as well, right? So let's put a little tick right in the middle, see if we can find the original hole, maybe, and bring out our exacto knife. All right, so we're gonna go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. this off bring the knife we don't need the bottom we know we know the bottom is going to be flush right. so we just take that down okay save this guy and we know the bottom is going to be flush so we take this down Now, what we need to do is put our tick marks this way and this way, vertically and horizontally. And what I'm going to do, I printed off the graphs so we know sort of, you know, how many tick marks we need, right? So basically, this is going to be a number here. And I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks here one two three four five six seven if it was six it'd be fantastic we put one every 10 centimeters but it's seven so what we need to do is bring out a little calculator and we're gonna divide 60 centimeters by seven 60 divided by seven and that's 8.6 centimeters per tick so that's what i'm going to put on here right now I'm going to bring out our tape measure, right? Um, 8.6. So what I'm going to do, just to make sure that this is, we get the accurate numbers. Here, let me do this. 60 um, divided by 7 equals 8.6, right? So let's put 8.6 here. 
and we're going to do it from the center, right? So, X, sorry, 8.6 centimeters, right? Not inches. Uh, what would it be here? I'll read off what the inches is going to be. Uh, 8.6 inches would be about 3 and uh, 3 eighths of an inch, right? But we're just going to continue using centimeters, right? So it's going to be 8.6. So I'm going to put a little tick here, approximately anyway. If we want, we could go 8.5, double it, 8.5 double, let's make sure we're in the right place, 8.5 doubled is going to be 17, right, 10, 17, okay, and just to make sure we're doing this right, all I'm going to do is going to go 8, oops, 8.5 plus 8.5 plus 8.5, is 17 plus 8.5 is 25.5 right so I've got the tick mark there 17 25.5 right we'll do another 8.5 plus plus 8.5 is 34 right so we're gonna go here and do 34, 34, and then we'll just do it with a calculator just to make sure we don't have any brain farts happening, right? Plus 8.5, 42.5, next one's 42.5, hey, wait a second. Thirty-two point five, forty-two point five. That's the reason I do this. Forty-two point five. All right, and then plus eight point five, plus eight point five, fifty-one. All right. So that was forty-two point five, and then fifty-one, fifty-one. Right. Plus eight. 0.5 is 59.5. We're just going to do 60, right? Okay, we're at the top there. We've got to do the same thing on the other side, okay? Because we're going to do the grids going across, right? So we had 8.5, 17, 25.5, 34, and then 42.5, and then 51. And then 60 up top, right? So we can put our horizontal grids in in there right now. We're going to use a thinner tape. Hopefully it comes out better. Or not better, but you can see the distinction, difference between the thick tape and the thin tape, right? This is as thin as they went, so. Uh, and one level thicker than this was a little bit too thick for what we wanted to do, right? So this is what we're going to do. And we're going to go a little bit extra on either side. And then we're going to trim it down and make it look nice, right? So we're going here, coming across. Okay, do the next one.
got three more. And the last one we're just gonna put on the top, right? Just do a little bit of more. Doesn't make a difference. Let's make sure within reason doesn't make a difference. <laughs> we'll go halfway through in the middle. Right? We'll go in the middle. Cool. Now what we need is the vertical grid, right? And the vertical grid, what do we need? We need one, two, three, four, five vertical grid lines, right? So five, and we went 80 centimeters, right? So we're gonna go 80 divided by five. So we need one every 16 centimeters, which is pretty straightforward, which is really sweet actually. 16 centimeters so let's just put this across Here, let's do this this way 16 centimeters hey stay up there so 16 make sure we're good 16 32 32 48, 32, 48, stay up there, 48, come on, 48, at 16, it's 48, it's moving, oops, went too far, let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Here, mm. yeah, that thing slipped a little bit, so let's make sure we're doing it nicely. Okay, 16, 32, 32, we'll put a dot here, uh, 48, 48. Okay, 850, 64, 64, and that should be 16-ish, that's 16-ish, cool. So we got that set up, and all we have to do now is, this is a thinner one, this is a thinner one, just use gravity. So I'm going to put the marker here and then trim it down, uh, clean it up afterwards. So we're going to go a little bit over, and then go flush, right? So right there, just make it stand. And one thing you can do is, uh, here. like I don't want to place this like this because friction might hold it. So you bring it out a little bit, right? And then just let it, I already pulled it out a little bit so it drops slowly, right? That should be 16. And this one. Should be straight enough anyway. Comes out okay, vertical, vertical. Yeah, looks good. One more. And one more. Okay. 
cool. Our graph is set up. We just have to clean it up a little bit. So let's clean it up with our, where's our X-Acto knife? Where did we put our X-Acto knife? There it is. There's our X-Acto knife. And what I can do is just use this guy to clean it up, right? So I just want a little bit of extra here because we're gonna put the labels here, right? So we're gonna use stickies to put on labels. So for example, one of the ones, oh, I didn't bring a felt marker, but I'll show it to you guys uh, in the next stream, right? So basically what we're gonna do is just put a marker there with whatever the reading is, right? Whatever it represents, okay? So let me take this off. So we need about this much. Oh, that's good enough. Yep, that works. So we're gonna take this and just give a little bit of space. And what we can do is just use the lever or the level and make sure the bubble is centered on this. And this should be good to go, right? And just use the exacto knife and trim it down a little. Yeah, let's pull these out. I didn't do the bottom one because it didn't reach all the way through, so we'll make sure that this is. Hey. Oh, I should have cut it tighter. Hopefully I pressed hard enough for him to pull out. good cool. and this one I haven't done yet so let's just make sure we do it nicely we've come this far flush so that's easy done one day uh, we'll do this and I'll bring out some paint and put a permanent grid on here so we can play the 10 by 10 puzzle any time we want, right? Just haven't made up my mind where it's gonna go yet. to do the other side I'm gonna to try to make sure they're the same amount right so it's about three centimeters three centimeters <laughs> a little bit over an inch a little bit over an inch between one inch and three centimeters if you got a tape measure that measures both right So that's going to be about here. Let's do it. Let's put a little mark here so we know, and then we level it up. And that way everything's the same. Everything's symmetrical, right? Let's make sure straight.
So we've got our grid set up. Now we can put a graph on here, right? And uh, one more thing before we finish off this video, I do want to get a visual of what these things are going to look like. And, you know, I wouldn't got some supplies for us to create the lines. So I'd like to test it out right now just to see how it comes out. Um, and it's not, it's not important for us to be accurate where, where the data is, but uh, I do want to get a feel for how it looks. So what we're going to do, I've got different color tacks here. I don't want to use the big ones because, uh, well, maybe we'll use the big ones. Let's check it out. <laughs> Those are pretty good, actually. <laughs> Maybe we will use the big ones. So let's see. Let's see if we use one of these guys. Yeah, let's put a point there. Can you even see that? That's too small. Here, we'll put another one. Let's put the same color. Actually, let's put different colors. See which one comes out better. Can you see the black nicely? Oh, you can see the black nicely. Maybe we use black. Little black guys. Here's a blue one. That's not bad either. Uh, and here, we'll do one more here, all right? And then let's see this one, the big one. That's too big, is it? No, not really. That's okay. Let's see. Well, we don't want to use green. Let's use purple. Let's do this one. How does that look? That's not bad. I don't mind the big ones either. But we do need to connect up our thingamajiggies here, right? So, I got rope. Let's check this out. Wow, the amount of tape they use on these things is crazy. Is to find the end of this guy. Let's check it out. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't think I would have a hard time finding the end of this thing, right? Where is it? Usually they should have it at the end, right? So you can pick it off, but. This one doesn't seem to have. Does this one? Weird. Come on. Well, oh, there it is. Wow. That's why they've melted it on there so you can't see it. There it is. So let's take a look. If we use strings, this guy's not gonna come out nice. It's not dark enough. No, yellow is not gonna work. Let's try green. I got a couple other things too that we can try. This one's way easier. Gardening supplies, right? Gardening string. And gardening strings on. Oh, do they have it on the inside? Am I pulling the right thing? Should be. Make sure they didn't do anything tricky. Ooh, maybe not. They did do something tricky. It's right here. Take a look. Right? So don't pull from the center. Let's see how this is going to come out. Let's see. That's good. That's dark. So the string looks okay. What we could do is as well, because we're going to put some. Uh, what we're going to do is put going to put some data points on here, and then we're going to connect it up, right? So we could go like this, like this, like this, like that. Right? Yeah, that looks good. Okay, once we're going to try one more thing. Okay. Actually, two more things. Okay, I don't need the glasses anymore. Getting dizzy on the steel. 
I got these guys too, gardening supplies. So if I don't end up using them for this, I'll use them for the gardening stuff. one's nice they've tied up where it begins right that's awesome i think i'll have to cut it though where is our exacto knife let's see how these guys will work out wow i've never used these things so i'm not sure oh it's like velcro it's like mini velcro velcro look at this Oh, that's neat. That's cool. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> I feel like pulling the whole thing off. <laughs> Let's see how this is going to work. I think this. I think we're just going to use a green string, but I do need two different colors as well because it's two different things we're going to grab. So if we do this, we would have to do this. Take this off, put a hole through it, and then take that off, put a hole through it, and then do this, put a hole through it, and then do that, put a hole through it. Hmm. Hmm. That doesn't look bad either. Okay, let me put on my glasses. Here we'll let that one. Oh, it sticks too, that's good. Let's check it out. Hmm. That doesn't look bad. That looks pretty good. Let's see if we can tell the difference between that guy and that guy. Let's see. Yeah, you can. That's good. However, we've got one other choice. Let's take this off. Let's look at the other choice. The other choice is this guy. I've never used this guy either. And this is good too because I've already marked it off where it begins taped it off Doop. Oh, this was simple no nice sound though look at this so this one if we're gonna do we we'll do it this way let's check it out Mm, this one's not as dark, eh? Let's check this out. Here, we can cut this. Maybe we can cut this. Hmm. We'll decide. I might go hunting for a different color string today. We'll see. But that's about it. We got our grid set up and um or a graph set up and we're going to put numbers here and we're going to put numbers here oh i guess we need little tick marks here too right i should put those in let's put those guys in too i cut them too flush i didn't need them to be flush right or do we do we do should we do should we put a little ticks in let's put a little ticks in i can do that later as well right but since we're here why not why not that one's going to be thicker actually i'll just cut them for now and then do a flush later okay oh no i need to do a flush cut them that way oh well We'll do this later. I'll put on here and do a little experiment when I come back with another string just to see how it looks. Okay, so uh, that's us setting up the grid or setting up a graph. And that's how you basically end up setting up graphs. You do your measurements and you break things down and try to, you know, make it look symmetrical to do a good representation of your data so you can analyze it, you get a nice visual of things happening, right? Which is what we'll do tomorrow. And then um, what we're going to do to data, what we're going to do with the data when we're analyzing it, it's just basically look at the rate of return. Um, basically look at 
an investment someplace where we could have parked our money and see what the rate of return would have been over a certain period of time and it's a good comparison it's a legit comparison we'll talk about this in the next video when we put the data on here okay that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video